All right, hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear for all. Uh, please let me know if you have any problem or any difficulty from your side. Uh, today our topic is very normal and uh, as always we question uh, Islam and we question the one who claimed to be a prophet for what it's called Islam. Now for sure, you know, Muslims believe that uh, Muhammad is a prophet and uh, supposedly, uh, you know, he was in the cave and then the, the guy, he came and he squeezed him three times and Muhammad, he have no idea what's happening. Muhammad, he go to his wife and he was shaking, breaking and going crazy and the wife, she took him from his hand like a little child to a cousin of her, which is not really a cousin, but the fact he is the real father of Muhammad. And she told him, do you see what's happening to Muhammad? Muhammad, tell him what happened to you. And Muhammad <coughs> started telling the man what happened, which means his father. And his name is Waraka ibn Nawfal. And then Waraka ibn Nawfal, after he listened to Qasim or Muhammad, he said to him, you know what? This is, must be the same angel he came to Moses. The same angel who came to all the prophet. It's coming to you. Now here, the Muslim, they're saying that this guy, Waraq ibn Nufal, is someone who converted to be a Nasara. And today we start our questioning with asking a very simple question. How Waraq ibn Nufal was able to know that this guy is the same angel who came to a previous prophet when he did not meet him neither see him neither heard him and which angel is the one who came to a prophet before and he was squeezing the prophet three times how this guy was able to recognize who is this angel do you have a degree in recognizing angels is he specialized? He have like a master degree. How this happened? Who told him? No answer. And why Muhammad is the last one to know that he become a prophet? You see, Muhammad is the last one to know in everything. When his wife, she was a cheating on him with a guy his name you know him did I say his name Muslims I will leave it for you and there is many witnesses they saw Aisha sleeping around Muhammad is the last one to know but that happened I mean it might happen to any man if the wife is not decent if the man the husband is very old and she is just a kid. I mean, it's normal to happen, actually. But Muhammad always is the last one to know. Why, how, nobody knows. Allah sent angel to Muhammad. The angel, he said to Muhammad, read. Why Allah said to Muhammad, read, nobody knows. What the point of saying read, nobody knows. Even the verses Muhammad he claimed he received from his God, it says that Allah is the one who taught mankind by the pen. By the pen? What pen? Any Muslim can explain to me? The verse in the Quran says, read in the name of your Lord, the one who taught the mankind by the pen. Who is the one Allah taught him by the pen? Anyone have an idea? Right now, as we speak, you are a Muslim and you are thinking deeply and you are wearing your pajama. I want you to imagine yourself sitting in the pajama in your bedroom or in the cave. But yet an angel come to you and squeeze you three times. 
if there is any Muslim would like to tell us what's happening what is the proof what is the proof that Muhammad when he was sitting in his pajama in his bed holding his computer and then suddenly a guy he come and he started squeezing him three times saying to him read or change your pajama I mean, what kind of any Muslim would like to tell us what's happening Muhammad is in the cave wearing his pajama hmm. I mean what a story do we have any Muslim would like to give me a call let me be sure first that my Skype is on hold on only Muslims please if you want to call you can call me for now maybe later we can take some Christians but for now uh, we want Muslims only if you don't mind it is seen Skype <coughs> Even if you are a Muslim and you are wearing your pajama, please feel free to call me. No problem. You're a prophet. He received his message of God in his pajama. All right. Uh, he would do to, 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 uh, if you are not more than him. Okay. You just receive a message from. Uh, uh, a sister saying that Dr. Rohi, do you remember Dr. Rohi? Uh, the Imam from Al Azhar University. Our sister here, she is saying he would like to call me again. And he said, he told her to tell me that he said he find you educated and he enjoys talking with you. Also said he thought it was beneficial for the people to listen for sure why not he can call me he can call me anytime let dr rohi call me and dr rohi is an imam and he is a phd holder of islam a graduated from al azhar university i don't know if he teach in al azhar or not but he can call me no problem and we always actually uh, you know, he tried his best to teach, but let us see if he can do it. Uh, do we have any Muslim would like to call us and explain to us from the beginning how Muhammad become a prophet? Who is the Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim? You see, I don't want to, uh, let us say, we have a golden opportunity, you as a Muslim and me as a Christian, to explore Islam and people, they will judge and they will see who is really following a man to follow, deserve to be followed, or somebody following just because he's born of a family, the family uh, said that uh, he is a prophet, you know, family from a family to a family, but you, all of you, all of you and your family, you have no proof that Muhammad is a prophet. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? You see, the Muslims, when they make uh, an argument, they want to debate the Christians as an example about the Trinity. 
and this is the only thing they want to talk about they want to say to you I want to debate you about the Trinity but even that one they are scared to talk about like I remember there was a kid he keep talking uh, Christian Prince you do not know etc he want to debate me and then when okay to so come and debate me he said we want to debate you only about the Trinity okay about the Trinity but when he started talking about the Trinity he never spoke about the Trinity he spoke about everything except the Trinity the Muslims they made videos they say the Christian Prince you do not know the difference between Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha when this guy he called me I said why you don't talk about this as long as I am wrong about it why you don't expose me he didn't want to talk about it because he knew that he is a donkey so you make videos and you Muslims you make videos supposedly you want to prove me wrong but when you are with me speaking to me you don't want to talk about the wrong I said obviously you are lying to your people you are ignorant you know that you are ignorant and you don't know you know that you cannot make it you are afraid they are heroes in making videos and posting text Christian Prince is lying to you but we stay here for 10 hours waiting for a Muslim Abdul to call us prove us wrong we cannot find the Abdul who want to do that do we have any Abdul he have the courage and the knowledge to call us immediately and you know what as you know our topic is always open it's a conversation it's not a dictation we do not need to prepare for a topic two years in advance as the silly debate we see in uh, in some you know stages like you know uh, Shabir Ali debating whatever the topic is etc etc blah 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 then the first guy the Christian guy he go and he print 10 pages in his computer and the Muslim guy he print 10 pages two weeks in advance the debate is made and the answer is prepared and there is no debate it's a preset I mean what about you print the questions and the answers and give it to us because there's no real debate a real debate is somebody come with something and somebody else now he have to answer it not you tell him the question in advance two years in advance and now he go and he search in the internet and he go in Google and he you know blah 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 and, and then you know you copy what somebody else said and you you post it what is the debate there's no debate it's a joke and then 10 minutes for you 10 minutes for him by the time he the guy 10 minutes finished we for the people they forgot what the, he said in the previous 10 minutes then the second guy he took the mic and he started talking for 10 minutes but the 10 minutes he speak of have nothing to do with the previous guy which mean he don't even have to answer about what he said he just ignore it and he keep going it is a joke we don't do that here whatever you say you have to stick with it every word you say you will be taken accountable for it and this is why the Muslims are afraid and scared to call me uh I look like Dr. Rohi when I call me. That's good. At least we have somebody. You have a PhD when I talk to us, not a Abdul who have no idea what Islam is about. But you will notice that there is no difference at the end. <clears throat> Let me log in Patrick because he he do not know how to call me in uh, Skype. <coughs> okay, I did not go in Patrick for really for long. All right, look like he is already here. All right. Well, I am in Peltok and I told him to call me. You know what? Maybe I can call him. Let us see. An update now available. Restart now. 
okay it says there's an update for pal talk so i need to you see because i did not really log for long in this program <coughs> so let us see what this program now it says he is offline so this is a message send when he was uh, okay well maybe he is not online in my side it says he is offline okay Anyway, if there is any Muslim would like to call, please feel free. Look like the guy is not online. And the message he sent me is like an old message. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Before we start, you see, I'm giving the Muslims like a, a chance to present to us what happened with his prophet, why his prophet became a prophet, how he became a prophet. I don't want to present to you how Muhammad became a prophet because I want a prefer if a Muslim, he himself, he make a presentation for the one who he called him a prophet. What made Muhammad qualified to be a prophet? How and why Allah, he chose him to be a prophet? Anyone? Any Muslim? <laughs> Any Muslim he think he can do so? Should I start by myself without you Muslims? What do you think? Guys, if you see my Skype right now, I'm getting messages from everywhere around the world. Seriously. Indonesia, India, Pakistan, uh, Malaysia. I mean, you its you name it. Nigeria. Uh, but, and many of them, they want me actually to come to their country. And actually, I will work in that direction to see how I, we can do it. Uh, but why a Muslim, he cannot use Skype to call me, an educated Muslim who knows Islam? Where is the Muslims? Let us see, pal talk. Look like we have. Uh... All right, look like he is ready. Uh, Mr. Rohi is on air, online. All right. Look, guys, we have a, we will have a good conversation today. We have Dr. Rohi. He is on air. Let us uh, let us call him. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Rohi. How are you? Alaikum salam. How are you? Uh, fine. Good, good to have you, my friend. How is everything? I hope that your health and the family is good. Alhamdulillah, all good. Long time, no, no see you. Well, hope Dr. You Rahi, I'm here. All what you need to do, just uh, let me know, because, you know, I don't uh, I don't go really in uh, pal talk. 
unless I uh, like uh, I don't go in Paltok at all actually I do only in, in Skype and uh, YouTube you know so like I just saw your message you sent to me but uh, I did not go in Paltok for a long time but anyway this is the program we do here you know the time you just call me you can call me in Skype try to download the Skype and add my name there I can text it to you or Rene she can text it to you and you can call me in Skype anytime you wish anyway Dr. Rahi we were talking to the people here about how how Muhammad he became a prophet in Islam like the story about him in the cave in the cave of Hara can you tell us what happened exactly if you don't mind yes okay uh, just a minute Uh, Muhammad, uh, God is, uh, uh, sent Jibreel to him okay. in the cave and uh, tell him uh, to that he a prophet and uh, said, Read, and your Lord is the most generous who taught by the bin, taught man that which he knew not. Uh, this is the beginning of the yeah, but prophet. I, but I don't know, you are saying something to me, I cannot really find it in the story, because there is nowhere in the hadith, it says that the angel, he said to Muhammad, you are a prophet. Do you agree? You, you just said, no, no. you said that the angel told him you are a prophet, but nowhere he said that to him. Where he said to him you are a prophet? Uh, in the hadith, uh, said, uh, I am Jibreel and you are a prophet. In the hadith it says that? Uh, Which hadith is that? Can you read yes. for us please, if you don't mind? Yes. Uh, so, when, um, I... Search about hadith. Search what you see. There is a hadith uh, said, I am Jibreel and you are the prophet of... So, Allah. so the hadith which is coming from... Uh, uh, the report of Khadija where she said to him that uh, uh, he, when he came back and he told her cover me cover me and she took him to Waraka and then Waraka is the one who told him that this is uh, Jibreel which story is the correct one uh, in Hadith he said uh, do you read in, uh, in Sunnah's books uh, and Hadith said that Jibreel said, I am Jibreel, this is what the ignorant Arab Christian always says, and you believe it. No, my friend, uh, you have to prove it to me. I have, I, I have the Hadith in front of me, Dr. Rohi. With my respect yes, to you, I have the Hadith Prophet, in front of me. Prophet Muhammad said, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, I entered Khadija's house, then I said, uh, cover me until fear uh, went away from me then Jibreel came to me and said I am Jibreel and you are messenger of Allah this is hadith is narrated what, what by the number? Uh, what the hadith number if you, don't, if you don't mind what is the hadith number you are talking about is it in Sahih al-Bukhari uh, this hadith in Kitab Alam al-Nubuwa al-Mawardi is that, is that a Sahih hadith? hadith which one is Naam, that hadith which which one is the correct hadith? The one in Sahih al-Bukhari or the one in the Mawardi? No. Uh, yes, yeah, there is another hadith, uh, not all hadith in Bukhari, but in other books there is a correct because, hadith. But, but now, there, you see, my, my, what I'm trying to say to you, Dr. Rahi, that one of them have to be lying. It can't be the true stories are correct, because one is saying he did not say to him anything about, I, you, I'm an angel. And you are a prophet and the other one you are saying it says he is an angel and he told him oh, you are a prophet so which one of those stories is a, is a lie the one in Sahih al-Bukhari or the one in the book of al-Mawardi uh, in this book let me read this hadith to know what the nas of this hadith so yaqul thumma dakhaltu ala khadija faqultu zammiluni zammiluni hatta zahabat anni ثم أتاني فقال يا محمد أنا جبريل وأنت رسول الله صلى الله وأنت رسول الله ثم قال اقرأ قلت ما أقرأ قال فأخذني فغتني ثلاث مرات حتى
كتابن الجهد وقال اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق فأتيت خديجة فقلت لقد أشفقت على نفسي فأخبرتها خبري فقالت أبشر فوالله لا يخزيك الله أبدا هذا في كتاب أعلام النبوة للموردة حديث الذي إذا تصحيح حديث Yes, uh, this is a Sahih Hadith. Okay. And what about the one in front of me? Is it Sahih Hadith? The one in, in Sahih uh, al-Bukhari. Bukhari. The one in Sahih al-Bukhari. Yes. Hadith number three. The book number one. Hadith number three. Which one of them is a true story? Because if that one is Sahih. Yes, sir. And this one is Sahih. What said this hadith uh, that uh, with you? This one what? never mentioned anything that an the angel. It says everything the angel said to him and never mentioned to him that I am an angel and you are a messenger of Allah. He never said to him. The one who said to him, who is this angel? It was Waraka. Muhammad was taken by Khadija to his wife, by Khadija, his wife, to, to Waraka ibn Nufal. And Waraka ibn Nufal is the one who told him, this, uh, told him that this is, must be, he is just guessing, must be the angel who come to the prophet before you and this is Jibreel it was not Jibreel who told him that so which one of them is a true story one of them have to be a lie yeah. it can't be both read to me it says Waraka he said to him oh my nephew uh, what have you been, what have you seen what have you seen uh, uh, my friend this hadith, this hadith uh, that was you from Bukhari not conflict with uh, this hadith that no, I it read. does not it does not uh, just because now. here no my friend the one is saying the one who said to Muhammad that this is J Jibreel the angel it was Waraka. Muhammad never said in the whole hadith that this is an angel and never said that the angel told me you are a prophet so there's a big conflict Muhammad he have no idea what's happening he do not know what this guy is about and and, and Waraka is the one who told him this is must be Jibreel Look, no, what no, uh, uh, look what Waraka said to him. Look what Waraka said to him. This is, is the same one who keeps the secret between two bracket Jibreel, whom Allah had sent to Musa. This is what it says in the in the story. So, uh, 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 in the Hadith here, there's a big contradiction for the story you are telling me. Okay, let us say let us say your story you told me is true. That the angel told him, "I am Jibreel, and you are a messenger of Allah." Why Muhammad was scared and terrified? And then he needed to be taken to Waraka, and Waraka told him again, "This must be Jibreel." Why Muhammad is uh, why Muhammad is so scared and terrified, and he need to be uh, covered, and he have a fever? What's happened exactly? I mean, do do you get fear when you see an angel of God? Yes, it is uh, the first once that he uh, connect with the Jibreel with this uh, big angel and he how big he is what do you mean big angel? What, what do you mean big angel is he big yes Jibreel is the big angel that uh, how he was Allah able to enter inside the, 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 the cave then if, if he is so big how he how he big and then he is inside the cave as we know that a man he came to him not an angel The one who yes, came to Muhammad, uh, but did he, he came to him as a man or he came to him as an angel? He came to him uh, as an angel and not as a man. Not In as a man. At this moment, not. No, no, yes, not. Okay. But uh, not as an uh, angel in uh, the original uh, hmm. picture. In the, hmm. But he came here to Muhammad in the symbol uh, picture to send yani to tell him that so angels they can change their look in islam yes maybe maybe no maybe or yes maybe or yes, yes. yes. okay yes okay maybe he can he, he right. change uh, so angel he can change his shape why he can change his shape and why he need to change his shape can he come as a human? Yes, he come to human. Why? And, uh, do you know and that, Why? that uh, angel came to Mary, that angel came to uh, Abraham, they came to Lut. Uh, no, the angel by, came to Mary. Uh, the, the, the one came to Mary in the Quran doesn't say it's an angel. It says that Allah, he sent his spirit 
and the spirit appear as a perfect man. It doesn't say as an angel. Yes, but the Holy Spirit uh, in the Islam is uh, Jibreel. In the, There's nowhere in the Quran it says that the Holy Spirit is Jibreel. Not even a single verse. Uh, as uh, said in the Quran, Qul nazzaluhu ruhu al-Qudus ala ala qalbika bil-haq. Nazzaluhu ruhu al-Qudus. Right. Ruhu al-Qudus. Naam. Wa ruhu al-Qudus. Okay. Ruhu al-Qudus in Islam. What Qudus mean? Dr. Ruhi, what the, what the word Qudus mean? Ruhu al-Qudus. What the word Qudus mean? Qudus. Ruhu al-Qudus. Ruh is a spirit. Qudus what? What Qudus mean? Yes. The spirit is the divided into two parts, the Holy Spirit and the unclean spirit. In other words, the spirit of the truth and the spirit of error. Okay, so there is a Holy Spirit in Islam, and, and it is holy because it's holy or because it's just a title? Is it holy, really holy, the spirit? Yes. Okay, well, holy, so now you have a holy God and you have a holy spirit and you have a holy angel. Who have me and you, 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 because you are saying for me, Holy Spirit is God, for you, Holy Spirit is an angel. So now he is an angel, but he is holy. I thought only God is holy. So you Muslims now have two holy, as you are saying, you have a holy no. spirit, holy Jibreel, and holy Allah. No, no, my friend, uh, my friend. Uh, Holy Spirit is the holy revelation that uh, descendants on the prophets. His uh, this makes them full of move, uh, movement and activity. And My friend, what's holy? What holy movement? Uh, message. Doctor, listen. And is uh, the Holy Spirit a Jibril or not? You said it is Jibril. Now you are saying it's inspiration. Is it inspiration or it's a person? Is the Holy Spirit inspiration or it's a person? Inspiration. Uh, Inspiration, so it's not Jibreel. So it's not Jibreel. We, uh, we uh, truly, we don't know what is uh, Jibreel uh, in the true picture. My friend, we you say, are Im it, we are imaging uh, Angel Jibreel, but who is Jibreel? How is Jibreel? We don't know. Guys, listen to this. Doctor Rohi just said to us. Who is Jibreel? What is the Jibreel? We do not know. And he cannot confirm to us if Jibreel is the Holy Spirit or not. A second ago, he said Jibreel is the Holy Spirit. And now he is saying the Holy Spirit is not Jibreel. It is inspiration. I mean, how confusing this religion is because you do not know. You are a person who have a PhD in Islam. And yet you cannot confirm to us if the Holy Spirit is Jibreel himself. And you said in the beginning, it is Jibreel. And then you took it back. You yes. say, no, it is inspiration. Yes. Jibreel yes. is an inspiration. Is, he Jibreel? is the Holy Let us make it clear. Is the Holy Spirit an angel or it is an inspiration? Confirm that to me. The Holy Spirit is uh, uh, sent by Jibreel. But the Holy Spirit uh, sent by Jibreel? A second ago, you told me that the Holy Spirit is Jibreel. Yes, but uh, listen, listen to me. As to the non prophets, ordinary people, they filled by the spirit that provides them with the thoughts that is useful to them in the affairs of their uh, lives, uh, lives. But if uh, he was a trade, so for example, if he was a trader or owner of company, he will fill by useful idea in developing uh, his company and increasing his business in this person uh, was uh, for example a writer or author this spirit will provide him with the creativity uh, that will make him write a story for example and he will watch for these stories and he will suffer poetry uh, fatigue and staying up at night to write a story or novel for example Therefore, from the mercy of God to his servants, he gives even his share of this spirit. God say in Quran, what say the God is the, to all these and those we extend from the gifts of your Lord. The gifts of your Lord are not restricted. So in the Bible, what said the Bible? 
دكتور روحي ما ريسبكت يو ماي فريند وات يو ار سين تو مي هاف نوتينغ تو دو وذ ماي كويشن هاف نوتينغ تو دو وذ ماي كويشن از از جبريل ذا هولي سبيريت ايذر يو ساي يو كونفيرم تو مي فاينل انسر ايذر يو ساي جبريل از ذا هولي سبيريت اور يو ساي هي از نوت ذا هولي سبيريت جيف مي ان انسر از هي ذا هولي سبيريت اور هي از نوت ذا هولي سبيريت ذا هولي سبيريت از كام داون باي جبريل سو بات ذا هولي سبيريت از نوت جبريل از ذات كوريكت بات قران نزله روح القدس نزله روح القدس لكن القران يؤكد انه دكتور روحي جست وان باي وان كونفيرم اند ساي كليرلي ذات ذا هولي سبيريت از نوت جبريل جست ميك ات كلير بليز سو بيبول دي ويل ليسنين دي ويل ليسن دي ويل هير يو ساي كليرلي اي بيليف اي ام ا مسلم دكتور روحي ذات ذا هولي سبيريت از نوت جبريل جبريل از ديفرنت بيرسون ساي ات بليز جو اهيد No, I confirm that the Holy Spirit is uh, come down by Jibreel. What by Jibreel? What, by what, what is that, my by Jibreel? What is that by Jibreel? I'm asking you, is Jibreel the Holy Spirit or not? This is not my question. I'm not asking you how the Holy Spirit came down by the elevator, came down by Jibreel. This is not the question. Yes, he, he is. Is, the, is he, he the is. Holy Spirit or he is not the Holy Spirit? Is Jibreel the Holy Spirit or the Holy Spirit is different person? I'm listening. He is the Holy Spirit. He is the Holy Spirit. Who, so how you say yes, the Holy Spirit came down by Jibreel if he is not the Holy Spirit? A second ago you said he is not the Holy Spirit. Just a second ago. I mean that he give people Holy Spirit. What do you mean he give people? Holy is Spirit. he the Holy Spirit or he give people Holy Spirit? Is he? If he is Holy Spirit, he give himself to the, the people? The all holy yes, the all holy spirit. Okay, that, let me ask you: uh, Is the angels in Islam are they? Is the from, angels in Islam are Jibri, they spirit? Uh, is the angels in Islam are they spirit? Yes, yes. They are a spirit. Can you can you can you confirm that to me in the Quran? Because the Quran says the opposite. The Quran says Al Malaika Wal Ruh, Al Malaika Wal Ruh, the angels and the spirit. So the Quran confirm that Al Ruh. Is not the angels. So where do you get this from? Uh, what said in uh, Quran? Uh, التفاسير تقول روح القدس هو جبريل في يقول وايدناه بروح بروح القدس اين يقول ايضا كثير من الايات او مثلا قل نزله روح القدس من ربك بالحق if people go from the beginning they will they will hear you you repeat it many times saying you confirm many times that jibril is not the holy spirit now you take it back and you say jibril is the holy spirit now we go back to zero in the quran chapter 70 verse number 4 it says to arju al malaika wa al ruh ilayhi The angels and the spirit. So, if the angels are the spirit, then Allah will not should not say the angels and the spirit they will descend descend it to him, send it to him. So, you obviously you have no backup to say to me where you get this from that Jibril is the Holy Spirit, and then you say that Jibril is not the Holy Spirit, and then you change your mind and you say no, Jibril is the Holy Spirit, and then you say to me that Jibril come down with the Holy Spirit. How he come down with the Holy Spirit if he is the Holy Spirit? I will tell you why because you yourself you have no idea what to, to, to answer and you are the one who said to me we Muslims we do not know who is Jibreel and how and how he is Jibreel is that correct you said that so now you do not know if he is a spirit or what you are saying to me that maybe he is the Holy Spirit maybe he came down with the Holy Spirit maybe he bring down the Holy Spirit maybe he give the other people the Holy Spirit but is Jibreel the Holy Spirit sometime you say yes sometime you say no sometime he says he is the other person In the same conversation, you give me many answers. Which one we will take? Uh, in the tafsir, in the tafsir, uh, for example, uh, for first that said تعرج الملائكة والروح إليه. The tafsir said angel and uh, Jibril. The angel and Jibril. Why Jibril is not an angel? Is, Je is Jibreel is different is kind of angel, angels? Is Jibreel is different kind of angels? When you say, when you say the angels and the spirit scanned into him, and you are saying to me that the seer says it means the angels and Jibreel. Since when Jibreel became a spirit and the angels are not a spirit, is the angels are not spirit? Like is Mikael is not spirit? Is Israel not spirit in Islam? Is Israel is not a spirit? Only only Jibreel is a spirit, and the rest are not. Yes, who uh, what is um, this Jibril? There is a special place in uh, 
because he is sent to the prophet. He uh, take them. Which prophet, Jibreel, uh, he was sent to? Hans Which prophet he was sent to? Name, name one for me. All, all the prophets. Where? All the prophets. Give me a story. Uh, Jibreel, Give me a story. Give me the story. When, when Jibreel came to a prophet in the Quran, who? To, uh, to us, to uh, Isa. Where? Where it says that he, you know, he came. وأيدناه وعندما قال وأيدناه بروح القدس. Yes, وأيدناه. Yes, we and we support him with the Holy Spirit. Doesn't saying that we send him the Holy Spirit. We supported him, which means the Holy Spirit support him always. No problem. But doesn't say that Allah He sent him as a messenger to him. Who is the messenger? He receive a message from the Holy Spirit in the Quran. And the Holy Spirit uh, come also to Abraham where? when he where? Uh, where? Where? teaching him where? by where? his son. Where? Which verse? Uh, in the Quran, not uh, clear this, but in Hadith. Ah, so uh, those stories are just the, the fiction stories which Muslims they add later to cover, to, to cover something missing in the Quran. The Quran says that Allah, he sent the Holy Spirit to prophets, but we cannot find one prophet Allah, he sent him the Holy Spirit. So what we do, we create the stories and we say, oh, those are not in the Quran. Those are in the stories we made. In the Quran, my friend, that it says that Abraham, he became a star worshiper. Is that correct? He was a star worshiper. What a star? Yes, he worshiped the stars. No, 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 not uh, he worshiped the stars. In the Quran, no? Are where, you sure? Where this, uh, yeah, said. So, okay, guys, Dr. Ruhi, he have a PhD in Islam, and he's saying there's nowhere in the Quran it says that uh, Abraham he worshipped uh, stars. Okay, let us go. Let us go and see if if Abraham he did that or not, and we will read together. فلما رأى الشمس بازغة قال هذا ربي هذا أكبر. Chapter six, verse number seventy-eight. When he saw the stars, he, when he saw the sun, he said, "This is my God. This is Akbar." And you just say that there is nowhere in the Quran it says that Abraham he worshipped stars. And we can read actually from verse number 76, 77, 78, you will see that Abraham in Islam is nothing but a pagan man who worshipped stars and planets. And you are a person with PhD and you confirm to me that there is nowhere in the Quran it says so. How come? Something missing here. Uh, this is when uh, Abraham was a boy, uh, a little boy. So what? My friend, what a boy! What is okay? Well, hold on, well, hold on, hold on. I ask you, did Abraham worship the stars? You said to me no, and you said nowhere in the Quran. Yes, I. It says I that. Will, uh, look, look, my friend. I will read the ayah that you hmm. said. فلما رأى الشمس بازقة قال هذا ربي هذا أكبر فلما أفلت قال يا قوم إني بريء مما تشركون and mm -hmm. we uh, and we uh, and when he saw the sun raise, raising he said this is my lord mm -hmm. this is a greater but when it sit uh, he said oh my people indeed I am mm -hmm. free from what you associate mm -hmm. with Allah mm -hmm. the how, how Abraham he, he learned about Allah how Abraham, who a second ago was worshipping the stars and the suns and the moon, and he called them Akbar, which is very weird. Now, suddenly, he became a believer in Allah. How he knew about Allah? Yes. But uh, in the, this, uh, before this ayah, what he said? What فَلَمَّا is it? And when he saw the moon raising, he said, this is my Lord. When it said, he uh, said, unless my Lord guide me, I will surely be among the people gone okay. astray. Okay, and then he, uh, Allah, uh, and then his Lord guide him and made him worship the sun because after that he started worshiping the sun. No, but his Lord guide to him. So No, what, he guided him. Uh, see, see what happened next, my friend. He will, he will go, his, his Lord guide him, unless my Lord guide me. The verse after it says, verse number 78, when he saw the sun rising in splendor, he said, this is my Lord, this is the greatest, this is Akbar, and he started worshipping the sun. So his Lord guide him to worship the sun? No, it is uh, when, uh, what the big, the beginning of ayah in this story said, look, uh, mm -hmm. see my friend, mm -hmm. uh, what see, uh, mm -hmm. 
وكذلك نري إبراهيم ملكوت السماوات والأرض ولا يكون من المقنين and thus did we show Abraham the realm of the heavens and the earth that he would be among the certain in faith and then then what said فلما جن عليه الليل رأى كوكبا قال هذا ربي فلما أفل قال لا أحب الآفلين so when the night covered him with a darkness he saw a star he said this is my lord but when it said he said I like not those that disappear okay do okay let us go by by the logic once by once Dr. Roy Abraham he saw a star as you said in the beginning, you told me Abraham Horn, nowhere he worshipped stars. And now we found that he worshipped many stars. And he was a star worshipper. He's a Sabian. Simply, he's a Sabian. And this is what the Sabians do. So now, Abraham, as a Sabian, worshipping star, he saw a star in the sky, as you said. And then he said, this is my Lord. Then he decided not to believe in this star because this star disappeared. Do you really believe in this story? Why now Abraham decided not to believe in the star because he disappeared? What does that mean exactly? Explain to us. Abraham, uh, Abraham, uh, Allah told us that Abraham why was uh, a logical, have a logical mind when he a uh, uh, small baby. Hmm. So he, the Quran uh, told us how uh, he development in mind and he how he development in the faith that he uh, reached to God. So he, the Quran told us how this yeah, is. Yeah, but I'm saying, I'm saying, uh, from, my, my, from my friend, I understand. <clears throat> what I'm saying is, that, don't you see there's a mistake in this verse in the Quran? Because why Abraham had decided not to believe in this star no more? According to the Quran, what is the reason he decided not to believe in that star? What is the reason? Uh, <coughs> this is the, this is the thinking of boy. No, no, no. Don't, Why, uh, my friend, my friend, my friend. Maybe he was uh, six years. No, okay, my, my friend. Don't say this is six years. This guy, he was a man. He destroyed the idols. Then, I mean, what are you talking about? What, what the six years? You made him six years now. And where do you get this six years from? Do you have like a backup for it? Six years when this happened to him. Come on. Now listen, I have not. I love not those who that sit. Okay, so the reason for him, he don't want to worship the star because this star disappeared. Is that correct? Uh, it says there in front of me, uh, the reason for him, he decided to leave worshiping the star is what? Because the star set, the star disappear. Correct? Yes. All right. But this yes. is mean, that's mean Abraham. He never saw a star before and he never noticed that it disappear. That's that's crazy because all yes. of us, we knew that stars don't stay there. Even the sun doesn't stay there. Even the moon doesn't stay there. So th this has happened as if Abraham, he was in a cave and he never saw the sun, the moon, the stars, the sky ever before. And then we opened the door for him and then he went out and suddenly he see a star. He said, this is my God. And then the star disappear. And that's it. He said, okay, you know what? This is star disappear. I don't believe in him because I don't believe in that. That doesn't make sense. That means Abraham, he never saw a star before. Don't, don't Abraham, he knew that the stars disappear and they appear again and disappear again. So what is the logic of this verse? That uh, this uh, for one night, uh, one, one night. What one night? What one night? My friend, my friend, what, what, what one night? Are you saying to me that here Abraham, he worshipped the stars for one night and this is the first night ever in his life he noticed that the stars disappear? He, the Quran not say that he worship it. it but say, he no, said, it says he worship it. What are you the, talking about? This is my Lord. Uh, Rohe, maybe Rohe, this is my Rohe, Lord. When you say this is my God, if I say that Jesus is my God, obviously I worship him. Don't you agree? Come on. Don't tell me he did not worship him. He said, this is my Lord. This is my God. Has a Rabbi. And then when this star disappeared, he said, I'm not going to worship a star which disappear. But this is funny because that means Abraham, he never saw a star before. And he never noticed that the stars disappear. And then he worshipped the moon. Okay, hold on. The star disappeared, the moon appeared. So now Abraham, and you said to me, maybe this is one night. 
and then the moon appear okay the moon will stay in the sky for a long time now when is when the moon this appear he said to himself I will not certainly worship the ones who'd go astray okay so now he do the same again same game the moon appear he liked the moon this is my God okay I will worship the moon but this is mean Abraham he never saw the moon before and then Abraham decided to leave the moon and then he saw the Sun he look at the Sun he says wow this is my God this is Akbar even he called him Akbar Allahu Akbar so he say when he saw the Sun rising in splendor he said this is my God this is Akbar and then he start worshiping the Sun but when the Sun said he said Oh my people, I am indeed free from your guilt of giving partners to Allah. Look what? Suddenly he knows about Allah and suddenly he don't want to worship the sun and the name of Allah did appear. Where did he get the name of Allah from? So he يعني, worship or said this is my Lord for uh, night and day when uh, he saw the moon and the, have the you ever heard? day he said Have you song. ever heard of somebody so, change his religion every, every 10 minutes? I mean what's wrong with this guy? He saw the stars and the stars disappear. Then the second night, let's say every, every night he changed. Then the second night he saw the moon. Okay, between the night before and the night after, didn't he see the sun? What happened to the sun? You see the sun, uh, according to the story, the sun he saw at the end. So based in the story in the Quran, Abraham, he saw the stars, he saw the, 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 the moon, and all this time he did not see the sun yet. It looked like the sun took a vacation. Night after night, stars come, moon come and go, and then the sun come. What does that mean? There's something fishy in this story because if the first night, the stars goes it's mean this the Sun came this is how the stars disappear so but in the story here the stars goes and the moon come and then the moon goes and then the Sun come how this happen and because they come and go I'm not going to believe in them did, did, did Abraham see Allah anyway if he believe if, if he believe not in the one who cannot be seen the one who go astray he never saw Allah so how he can believe in Allah and how Allah introduced himself to, to Abraham? What is the angel you spoke you spoke of? Uh, the first uh, that said, فَلَمَّا جَنَّ عَلَيْهِ اللَّيْلِ And then this story is uh, first begin in the night when he uh, understand. So when For the sure night, night covered For sure. him. For sure it's in the night because he, he cannot see the, the stars at, in the daytime usually. So the night came. He believe in the star okay and then the star went away that's mean the Sun came again and then the moon came back that's mean second day at least okay how come Abraham did not worship the Sun when he saw the Sun second day after the star left before the moon come because according to the order here you will see that he saw a star yes and he decided to he, worship the star yeah. He said, "This is my this Lord." Is my Lord. Okay. Uh, he and said, then the star this is, is gone. My Lord. This okay. Is a greeter. When this the star, is a greeter. okay, no problem. The star is gone. Why? Why? Why the star? He don't want to worship him more because he's gone. Okay. That's mean a new day came. That's mean the sun appeared. How come Abraham did not worship the sun after he saw the star? Where is that? Yes, what is that? Uh, I, I said that is a night and the day only. Okay. Uh, uh, let us let us let us go let us go is, deep. Here, here, uh, Abraham, he spoke suddenly about Allah. How he learned about Allah? Did Jibreel came to him, you think? Yes, uh, Jibreel came. But, as a man? Uh, as a man or as what? Uh, the Quran not mentioned that uh, how the Jibreel come to Abraham, Where it mentioned but, that Jibreel uh, came to Abraham? Where it says Jibreel came to Abraham? Uh, in Quran, yeah, nowhere. In Quran, okay, nowhere, right? In Quran, uh, I said to you, not uh, clear. All right, that, not uh, clear. It's said, clear. It just said it never mentioned. Let me let me ask you: Is it true that Jibril he came to Muhammad as a man? In uh, the first, in the beginning, it doesn't matter. Did he came to him as a man? 
Hello? Sometimes to say, say again, please. Hello? Did, 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 did Jibreel came to Muhammad as a man? Yes, sometimes uh, Jibreel uh, okay. come to Muhammad as a man. All right. And how come in the same uh, chapter uh, then, how come in the same chapter we are reading from here, if we go to verse number nine, it says Allah will not send an angel as a man because that will cause confusion. If you read here, it says, if we had made it an angel, we should have sent him as a man. And we should certainly have called them confusion in the matter which they have already covered with confusion. What does that mean? Explain to us. Uh, this is uh, what you... Okay, so if uh, Allah want to send, if Allah want to send angels, He will send them only as men. Yes. But now, this, well, uh, okay, hold on. But this is a contradiction because uh, you said to me a second ago that yes, Muhammad, that Muhammad, we, he received angels who come in the image of angels. Angel, Yes, if uh, and if we had made him an angel, we would have made him appear as a man, and uh, we would have covered them with that which they covered themselves. What what, what does that mean, I, my friend? If if what, Allah, if Allah wanna send, okay, what, what, if Allah wanna send an angel, he will send him as in the shape of what? Confirm to me, please. Uh, this is uh, about that unbelief. Uh, ask Muhammad uh, to send a prophet as angel, not as a man. Uh, God said that if he send a prophet as uh, from angel, he will also come uh, like a man because they don't uh, see the ma the angel in the original uh, picture. So he said. If him an angel, uh, he may, uh, angel, we would have made him appear as a man. Okay, so, so if don't... Allah wants to send an angel, always he will come as a man, correct? This is what the verse is saying? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so how you say to me that Jibreel, he came to Muhammad, you know, not always as an, as an angel, not always as a man, sorry. I said in uh, Jibreel come as a man to the Prophet uh, Muhammad and uh, when Hadith said uh, that uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa see the Jibreel in the original uh, picture and Okay, but this, this verse here saying, and, but this verse saying here, if Allah want to send Jibreel, he will send him as a man How Jibreel came to him in that not in the image of a man. This is contradiction Which one is the one is correct one? If we will send him an angel, we will send him as a man. You, you are the one who said that to me. Okay. So how Jibreel he saw yes. been seen by Muhammad, is, but not uh, as a man, as an uh, angel with six hundred wings. Uh, my my friend, this is uh, this first talk <coughs> about uh, the people, the ordinary people, not uh, talk about uh, prophet or who is the ordinary people uh, who saw angels. A bosser. Who are who? Where do you get this from? From this area. Okay, where where is okay where is where is the angels who appear to normal people like who in the Quran? Where is the angels appear to normal people? This uh, ayah, this the first ayah in uh, eight. وَلَوْ وَقَالُوا لَوْ لَا أُنْزِلَ عَلَيْهِ مَلَكٌ وَلَوْ أَنْزَلْنَا مَلَكًا لَقُضِيَ الْأَمْرُ ثُمَّ لَا يُنْظَرُونَ. Okay, so now he's saying that. Uh, uh, the, the people they are asking him why he don't send him an angel so we can see him, right? Yes. Okay. And Allah is saying to them, if I send an angel, I will send him as a man, correct? Okay. Who is the one who saw the angels speaking to Muhammad? According to the book of Imtihan al Wahi. It says that Khadija, Muhammad, he told her that he sees someone in his room. Is that correct? He sees someone in his room. Yes. All right. 
Muhammad yes. did not say he looked like an angel. He saw some. He sees someone. Obviously, he looked like a man. All right. So now, Jibril is not cannot be seen by anyone except by Muhammad. Based on this story, his wife she is in the same room, but she cannot see him. Do you agree? Uh, uh, again, again, my okay, my friend please. Khadija. There's there's a chapter is called uh, uh, where the angel came to supposedly to Muhammad, but he don't speak to him, he sit in his bedroom. Muhammad he told his wife that this there is a person who come to him, but he didn't talk and he is not sure if he is an angel or not. Khadija, she said. When your friend come, and this is what she call him, call him in Arabic, she says, Sahibuka, Sahibuka. The one who can't no. accompany you, your friend who come to you, if he come to you, let me know. So when he come to him, Muhammad, he told Khadija, I see him now. He's here. Khadija, she asked him, you know the story, she to sit in the top of her right leg, her left leg, and then to sit in the top of her, and then to take off the clothes, and then supposedly the one who Muhammad he see, he left the room. This is what they call the examination of Al-Wahi, of inspiration. I'm sure you know the story, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, why, why Khadija, she is not able to see the angel, only Muhammad? Yeah, because uh, this angel come to Muhammad only, not come to... But the verse Khadija. says, but you are the one who said to me that the angels, they appear as men for normal people. But Muhammad, he did not see, he see him as an angel, as a man. And that means he have a physical being. So how you cannot see a man? If he is a man, how I am a man in full shape of a man, but yet only Muhammad can see me. I don't uh, understand. You. Well, I am a man now. Jibreel, he became a man. All right? Jibreel, he became a man. Okay. Now, Muhammad, he can see this man. But, you know, Khadija, she cannot see this man. How this happened? Uh, Jibreel, he, he is yani, also in uh, i don't sure that he come by a man in this uh, story in this hadith not he come uh, a man what this like, hadith so not, so what he saw what he saw that okay what he saw what he saw what muhammad he saw the one in the room who what he saw he saw an angel uh, yes uh, he, so saw he saw an angel why he how, why he did not how, recognize him as an angel why he's confused the angel he will look like an angel why he is not sure if he is the devil or he is an angel? I mean, what the point? Do he look like so ugly? Do he look like a man, normal man? So he's confused what he is, or he look like an angel who's amazing look? I mean, do we see angels always? I mean, isn't it obvious how the angels look like based on descriptions of religion? So how Muhammad could not recognize if this is an angel or not, but yet his wife, by doing striptease, she was able to recognize. Do you think in this point, Muhammad was imagining things not true? Yes, it is a true hadith. I know, but I'm saying, do you think maybe Muhammad is imagining there is somebody there, but there's nobody there? The angel, when come to the prophet, wow. the prophet, he say the this angel uh, only, not the people say this angel. This is what Who, happened. What, this what, what, what? Khadija, based on the story, Khadija, Khadija, my friend, prophet. she never saw it. Khadija, she never saw the angel. He right. don't he don't uh, see the angel the, okay. saw the angel okay, the, okay. This moment. let me ask you is it true that Muhammad he said that when he walk in the street he hear the stone saying to him assalamu alaikum the angel no Muhammad he said that when he walk in the street the street the, the stones they say to him assalamu alaikum this is the not true hadith not a true Yes. What does that mean? Not true. And the stone not uh, said to him, "Assalamu alaikum." I don't. Uh, but the 
there is another hadith that an juz al nakhla sallama alayhi aw andama kana yakhtub amma al hajar this is not hadith i think okay well according to the hadith it says and i don't know why you are saying you are the one who said to me the hadith about abraham it's coming from ibn ishaq sorry that the hadith about muhammad it's coming from ibn ishaq where it says that the angel jibreel he told him, I am Jibreel, correct? The same hadith is coming from Ibn Ishaq. So why this one is accepted by you, that one is not accepted? What happened? What what this hadith is? At the, least the one who reported the story, the one who reported the story, that the the, sto the stones and the rocks, they, uh, they, they greet Muhammad, they say to him, Assalamu alaikum, is Ibn Ishaq. The same hadith is coming from Ibn Ishaq, the one you told me, it's a true. How Ibn Ishaq, the same reporter, one you like his story, you say it is true, and the other one you don't like his hadith, so you say it's not true. Which one is true? Not all hadith come by Ibn Ishaq is true. Not all hadith. If the so, hadith Ibn, come so Ibn, Ibn Ishaq, he lies sometimes. Sometimes he's honest. Uh, maybe he wrong not I don't uh, sure that he lie but uh, he wrong he sh he hear okay from you the my, no problem narrator. okay you said that the, the 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 trees they say to Muhammad is that correct yeah I don't uh, sure this you are not sure because so, so, but you said it's sahih a second ago uh, because this is a hadith not to come in Bukhari but in the Ibn Ishaq in the but you said it's Sahih I ask you you said it's Sahih you said it's Sahih in the front of me I have a hadith that says from Jami'a Al-Turmudi that the mountains and the trees they say to Muhammad peace upon you Muhammad and this is a Sahih hadith do you agree with it if the if this hadith come if, uh, in a Sunnah's box hmm. this is Sunnah books obviously uh, this is not Shia books Yes, yes, I know. Okay. I mean that in Sunnah's books, not uh, Sirah. There is a difference between Sunnah and uh, no Sirah. Problem. No problem. Not do you, all do you agree? and Sirah is it true. My friend, do you agree with it or not? That Muhammad, he hear trees and mountains and rocks greeting him. Yes, what? Uh, but, uh, yes. Okay. So I yes, okay, believe. that's what I want. So yes, yes, guys, listen to this. Do you think that Muhammad here is mentally ill? Is it, is it normal? I mean, why why stones are saying to Muhammad, Assalamu alaikum? Is it stones alive? Are they creatures who they are alive? They have like a heart and blood and they have a tongue. Stones saying to Muhammad, a tree saying to Muhammad, Assalamu alaikum. A camel saying to Muhammad, Assalamu alaikum. Rocks in the street, they say to Muhammad, Assalamu alaikum, and nobody hear that except Muhammad. Don't you think Muhammad, is, he have a mental illness? He hear voices, not true? He not necessarily hear a voice from stone, but he maybe he uh, understand uh, a sign that it is not what the story says. It doesn't say a sign, my friend. It doesn't say a sign. It says, Assalamu alaikum, Prophet. They speak to him even in Arabic. The Prophet, he speak only one language, not Persian, not Aramaic, he speak only Arabic. According to Muslim, he do not even know how to write, how to read. And now we see that the stones and rocks and mountains and hills and trees, they say to him, Assalamu alaikum Prophet, but nobody hear that except him. Isn't it, this is obvious for you as a Muslim. Here we go, he saw an angel, nobody see him except him, and his wife, she is in this next room, in the same room. And then what the wife she do, she asked him to sit in the top of her to examine if this is an angel or not. So uh, there's no proof Muhammad is a prophet. When the angel came to Muhammad in the in the cave, anyone saw the angel? No. Anyone was a witness? No. There's no witness for anything. Muhammad hearing stones saying to him, "Assalamu alaikum." Nobody hear it. When 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 Muhammad he received the chapter of Al Fatiha, you remember Al Fatiha, right? Yes. Okay. Is it true that Muhammad he received the chapter of Al Fatiha each time he wanna go out to the bathroom at night? The angel Jibreel, he come to him, and he don't say, I am Jibreel. He said to him, Muhammad, and Muhammad, he ran away? No, no. No, no? Not okay, let us see if this is true or not. Here we go. I'm going to show it in the screen so everybody can see with me what I'm talking about. You are saying, you always you say it's not true, and later you take it back. 
and you say is true. Let us see if this time you will do the same. We go to the tafsir. Now we'll put it in the screen so everybody can uh, can see with me what I'm what I'm going to uh, show on the screen. Give me a second. Here we go. All right. Tafsir. This is a chapter of Al-Fatiha. And this is... This is the, the book of Asbab al-Nuzul. It says here, Whenever the Prophet, he went out, he used to hear someone calling him, O oh, Muhammad. And whenever he heard this, he used to flee. Do you see it, uh, Dr. Rohi? This is the book of Asbab al-Nuzul. This is the official website of the King of Jordan. It's an official government website. The angel, the one you call him an angel, Muhammad, when he hear his voice, he run away. And he come to him only when Muhammad, he want to go to the bathroom. And not only that, he said to him, oh, Muhammad. And then Muhammad, he run. And then Muhammad, he walk, he, after he run in many times, because each time he want to go out, this voice come to him and say, oh, Muhammad, and he flee. Then Waraka, after Muhammad told him the story, Waraka ibn Nawfal advised him as usual. Waraka is the advisor of Muhammad. He is the true prophet. He advised him to remain in his place. And he told him, next time you see him, remain in your place. So when the caller calls him again, so you can hear what he wants to, to tell you. And this is what the prophet he did. And then when the caller called him again, oh, Muhammad, he said, here I am. Muhammad said, here I am at your service. The caller said, I say, bear witness that there is no God but Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. <laughs> The angel is converting to Islam, my friend. Uh, I mean, what is this? Okay, my friend. Uh, as to Asbab Nuzul, not all Asbab Nuzul and revelations causes uh, the truth. Sometimes revelations uh, causes wasn't true because some Muslims, when Allah was, يعني, reveals new Quran to the Prophet, they were thinking that the Quran revealed for some reason. Why? Because every Muslim was uh, so afraid that the first maybe suggest the suggest uh, to him, or this first means him. So he was uh, check out uh, his, uh, for act two days ago, and uh, no, and so he want to uh, search was a reason, but not. All Asbab and Nizul is the true. Now, so okay, now I, let, let, let's make it simple. Not all Asbab and Nizul is true. Not all Ibn Ishaq is true. Not all Sahih al Bukhari is true. Not all what Dr. Rohi he say is true. I mean, who, who are you? Who are you, with my respect to you, Dr. Rohi, to say to the one who is a big scholar huh, in Islam to the point they have his books in there in, the, in there and to teach Muslims about what's happening, what is behind the verses. You are telling this guy who is a big, big shot in Islam, he is wrong. I mean, how he became no. wrong and you became right. We know, we know uh, my friend. We what do you know? How you know? Uh, how you know? Who is the one? Who is the one who decide I, that this let, scholar let, is a liar? Are, are you saying he's a liar? Are you saying he's a liar? Are you saying he's a liar? I would. I will uh, to, uh, tell to, uh, tell you. In Tafsir's book, there is a lot of saying about revelations cause, causes, but in the end, we find this is a false causes. The question here, why the interpreters wrote this in their box? Okay, why? It is for my, it is for uh, many reasons, uh, like as, uh, honesty to write everything that they was hearing maybe this is true uh, also some of them like to getting beat scoop as the press doing in this uh, present days also causes to difference in uh, ideology that making some narrators to take some opinions and leave some 
Also, some of explainers liking to write strange things in their books to make their books more exciting. Ah, also, okay, maybe maybe Muhammad too, and maybe you Muslims, you just you just said something very important, Dr. Rohi, that you Muslims, you fabricate stories about your prophet to make your books exciting and to make Muhammad exciting person. Is that what you are saying to me? Guys, did you hear what, the, what Dr. Rohi said? We Muslims, and he's talking about Muslim scholars, not anyone, not Abdul, he is uh, opening a channel on YouTube, big names. They fabricate stories about the prophet in order to make their books exciting and to make you excited about the prophet so now what you are saying to us that all islamic source is just fabricated books and there's no resource of it and there's no proof of it and you muslims you have to I, guess this is what you are saying you, you said we have to guess how you would decide that this story is a lie can you tell me how you with your phd in I, islam how you were able to look, find in a second listen, that this listen, story is a lie listen my my friend listen to me uh because if not one of um, tafsir explainer not understanding some verses which carried some narrators to fabricated revelations causes from themselves i like who, okay give me you. give me some names of uh, fabricators additional to al, uh, this guy al wahidi who is the names of fabricators like do you do you accept a mikathir Yes, uh, uh, as like a Sudi, as a Sudi, for example, a Sudi. Forget about a Sudi. Do you think Ibn Kathir is a is a is a fabricator? No, 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 not Ibn Kathir. Al Qurtubi. Al Jalalain. Not, not Al Qurtubi. I لا, uh, listen. Not the مفسر, but the narrator that he. Uh, till the professor that uh, stories okay shouldn't the the the, the one who do interpretation uh, for example I should, use, I should my, be friend, my friend my friend if i am now trying to present to you what is the reason for this verse came down if i present for you false reason it's, it's mean i am false too because i should make a decision before i write if this is a story is valid or not so obviously the, the the narrator and the, the the guy who wrote this book, they are in total agreement that this story is true. Otherwise, he will not put it down, and he will not say each time the prophet he is not even given interpretation for the verse. He did not. This is not about interpretation. He is saying what happened each time the prophet he want to get out of the bathroom, he hear a voice. It says, "Oh Muhammad," and then Muhammad he go crazy and he start running, and then. The voice keep chasing him and Muhammad he keep running until he hear it no more. Every night, every night until Waraq ibn Nufal advised him to tell and, to, and told him, don't do that. Next time you hear this voice, stay in your place. Okay. I want you to show me one Muslim scholar agree with you that this story is fabrication. Do you have anyone? Do you know anyone, any any scholar who said this story here is a, is a lie? Uh, can you tell me the story by Arabic, please? This hadith. Uh, you know, I have it in the front of me in English. You can go to the book of Asbab al Nuzul. You know, you, 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 I'm sure you have a big, big library. Go to the book of Asbab al Nuzul. This will be in the beginning because this is a chapter of Al Fatiha, verse number one, in the beginning. Uh, uh, let me to search about this hadith and see about I. I am sure that is not the true hadith. Hmm. I am sure that it's not hadith, true hadith. You are sure, but you remember last time you told me about something. You are not, you are sure, and later you came back the second day, or a few days after you told me you are wrong. It was sahih, right? Because in the not all hadith and asbab al nuzul is true. I told you before, but hmm. in uh, if they, this come of uh, this hadith and the. Uh, uh, books of tafsir, uh, books of sunnah, it is a different uh, way, it is different uh, situation. Okay, you know what, I will give you time to find this hadith, maybe even you can call me uh, next time we will do this uh, thing, but however, let us go back to see if Muhammad really is a prophet or not. You agree that Muhammad, he received and he heard voices, and he hears stones saying to him, Assalamu alaikum, mountains saying to him, Assalamu alaikum, trees they speak to him. And nobody hear that. 
And even you say the camel he spoke to him. Is that correct? Is that true? Uh, can you read the, the hadith uh, by Arabic, please? Okay. As an example, here the hadith says, كنت مع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بمكة فخرجنا في بعض نواحيها فما استقبله جبر ولا شجر إلا وهو يقول السلام عليك يا رسول الله What do you think about this hadith? خرجنا في بعض نواحيها This hadith is not in the books of Sunnah This is in جامعة الترمذي This is Sunnah so I search for hadith. I don't find this hadith. It's in front of me. Uh, anyway, no problem, no problem. No problem. No problem. Let, let, let me ask you. When, when the angel, he said to Muhammad, something nobody here except him. And when the angel appeared to Muhammad, nobody saw yes, except yes, him. Yes, uh, yes, I find, I find, I found this hadith. Okay. يقول كنت مع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بمكة فخرجنا في بعض نواحيها فما استقبله جبل ولا شجر إلا يقول السلام عليكم. Oh. Look at this hadith uh, in the bottom. This uh, wrote uh, ضعيف. ضعيف. What ضعيف? A weak hadith. Is ضعيف is accepted hadith. or rejected? Yes. Is ضعيف accepted or rejected? Rejected the No, my friend, who taught you that? You have a PhD in Islam. Da'if hadith, Da'if hadith, Dr. Rahim, listen. Strange hadith. Listen, my friend. Da'if hadith is not rejected. It's not rejected. Da'if, it is a hadith which is accepted, and the rank of it is Da'if, which means that we don't have enough proof to make it in higher rank, but it's not rejected. I never heard of a single Muslim scholar he said that hadith da'if is rejected. Since when? Yes, not to take uh, da'if hadith in the يعني, aqaid, but to take in the fada'il al-a'mal, they take da'if, but uh, this hadith not uh, true as to me. Okay, but so, but you agreed, yes. you, you said there's a different, different hadith that the uh, the trees spoke to Muhammad, is that correct? Yes. Okay. This hadith, yes. Now, how, why the trees are speaking to Muhammad and what for? I mean, what, what is the trees are living creature who they can talk? Is that like the, the one we see in the cartoon where the trees speak? This, this, uh, this tree have a tongue and have a mouth and is speaking? What does tree say to, what, what the tree said to Muhammad, if you don't mind to say to us? Uh, so, uh, uh, I was with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Mecca. We departed to one uh, its uh, supports, uh, and the no mountain and or trees was before him, except that he, if he said, I lost you, Dr. Rahi. Did you drop your call? Uh, he is still with me, but I hear nothing. Okay. You, Dar, okay? Dar, say, say again, Dar, please. Say, say again, please. Yes. I did not hear you because I, I lost you. Oh. Uh, the hadith uh, narrated uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib. I was uh, with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi in Mecca. We departed to one of the sub, uh, suburbs and uh, no mountain or trees was before him, except that it says, Peace be upon him, O Messenger of Allah. Great Da'if, Daru Asr al Hadith, Da'if. So is Da'if. In this Hadith. So yes. now we, we come to a conclusion that the Hadith you told me it is Sahih has, uh, uh, five minutes ago, now it is Da'if. Okay, that's wonderful. Now, do your prophet really in any story you believe is true because you said you believe in that, but now you are saying it's daif. Do you really believe that in any occasion Muhammad was able to communicate with rocks or stones or trees or animals? Yes or no? As me, this is uh, 
this hadith daif and not I take this hadith as uh, a true. So you don't well, you don't believe Muhammad he spoke to any 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 animals or any trees or any rocks. If Allah want uh, to to the trees speak to him, he will uh, make the trees speak to him. That's another question. Uh, That's another question. That's another question. The question: Do you believe really that Muhammad he spoke? To while we not, not? Uh, read this in this uh, strong hadith, we don't uh, believe in this. Okay, hold on. Do your prophet hear sounds and voices, which is strange? Again, please. I, okay. I miss you. Uh, how your prophet he used to hear the inspiration of Allah? Uh, the inspiration of Allah by the Jibril. How Jibril he talk? Mm. I know how we talk, but uh, we don't know. All the human don't know how the angel talk, but uh, okay. Do so he talk how, in Arabic? Do he talk him, to, to him in his language? The Quran. What do, what do you mean you do not know? The Quran says we never send a messenger uh, 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 except in the language of uh, the tongue of his people. So obviously, he will speak to the, the, the messenger in the tongue of his his own. So Jibreel, he spoke to, to Muhammad in Arabic or he spoke to him in different language or different communication way. What is the way Jibreel he used when he communicate with Muhammad? Sure, in Arabic. In Arabic. Okay. Did, yes. did your prophet receive inspiration in music? I don't know. In uh, music, okay. not. No. Uh, but, uh, Either you say yes or yeah. no. I mean, what do you mean no? You said in Arabic. And, did he receive, uh, did he as a ring, it? as a ring, as a ring. As oh, a that's bill. wonderful, guys. As a bill. Okay, as a, as, a bill. as a bill. Okay, so as a bill, that's wonderful. How Muhammad was able to translate the sound of a bill? He received sound of a bill, right? How Muhammad translate that to Arabic Quran? Not all uh, the the revelation as a pill, but the beginning of uh, the revelation as a pill, as uh, you my when, friend, uh, let us say, let us call say, you, let us you, say, say, you, you hear, my friend, let us you say, hear a pill, then you speak okay, to the okay, person. Okay, who, well, wonderful, more wonderful. Muhammad, now let us say you are now in front of Muhammad. Muhammad, you receive a revelation in the sound of a bell. How Muhammad? He hear the bell and then he speak the Quran in Arabic, translating what the bell sound is. Bell is not Arabic language; it's a bell. How Muhammad translate the inspiration of his God from the bell sound to Arabic? How is that, and why Allah giving him the sound of the inspiration in as, as a bell? Okay, my friend. Now, yani maybe we discuss uh, yani another time because uh, we don't yani prepare myself. And no problem. This, uh, inshallah, we call you and uh, message me uh, when you yani busy. We debate another time, inshallah. No problem. But my, before you go, uh, 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 Mr. Rohi. You see, Muhammad himself, he said that the sound of the bell is a musical instrument of shaitan. And you just agreed that Muhammad, and you are the one who told me that Muhammad, he received his inspiration in the sound of a bell. That, that means you are confirming that Muhammad was receiving his musical instrument of shaitan, and he claimed yet that this is Quran. Now you said you are not prepared for that. I will give you as many days as you wish to prepare, and you are more than welcome to call me time anytime, uh, uh, Dr. Rohi. I'm happy to have you again, and thank you for being with us. And I hope that you will come next time with better uh, answers, and you will be prepared for what we stop. With. And the next time you call me, we will, we will start from here again. All right? Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Good night. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum sir. All right.
Well, as usual, when things get hot, I am not prepared. Because now we are we are arriving to the conclusion that Muhammad hear voices, and those voices are crazy. The guy is a crazy guy. I mean, isn't it obvious? So what we do? Okay, now actually I should go because now uh, this guy have a PhD in Islam. He's a big sheikh. And now I got to go. Now. A prophet of God who received inspiration in a sound of a bill. Bismillah. Al Rahman Al Rahim Allah said O oh, Kufar Hello O oh, Mommy Mommy Blue. I mean, this is a prophet of God? Prophet of God? He received Allah words as a sound of a bell? And you are telling me that this guy is not mentally ill? Rocks, they say to him, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Prophet Muhammad. Rocks, walking in the street, the guy. The funny this guy he cleaned his ass with the three rocks he told the muslims so i uh, you know rocks they say to him assalamu alaikum trees they say to him assalamu alaikum camel he said to him camel prophet this guy is beating me and nobody can hear it and then to make things more ugly and more more crazy he said to them that the bell is the instrument Musical instrument of the shaitan. Well, you forgot, you crazy, that you are the one who said that you receive Quran as bell. And what Dr. Rohi said to us, uh, uh, not always he receive it in the sound of a bell. But this is not the question, my friend. Why Allah is giving a guy who do not know anything about the music? Was Muhammad a musician? Was Allah trying to uh, create a, a symphony? La, 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 la. La 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 Allah Allah la 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 Allah la 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 Allah la 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 Bill Allah giving him Quran in a sound of a bell and then Muhammad he have a special skill he translate the sound of a bell to come like heaven and hell the bell ring Muhammad he listen and he bring inspiration of God coming in a sound of the instrument musical of the devil. And to make it more scary, the hadith says that Muhammad, he used to imagine himself having sex, but in fact, he never did. This guy, he imagined everything. Even his sex was not a true. You see, Muhammad have no witness. He saw angels. Muhammad have no witness. The angels squeeze him. Muhammad, he have no witness. He went to the seven heaven eleven. But a man, he have no witness that he had sex. Even the women, he have sex with her. How this happened? I never saw a man like Muhammad. He have a witness for nothing. Even his sexual relationship. It was a fiction. It says in the hadith, narrated Aisha, the prophet continued for such and such a period, imagining that he has slept, had sexual intercourse with his wife, but in fact, he did not. Even this one was an imagination. 
in different hadith Aisha she said the prophet he used to imagine that he done things in fact he did not do it how we can try and to make it more more funny the Muslims agree that the Prophet was bewitched bewitched Prophet you Muslims follow a bewitched Prophet if I say to a Muslim your Prophet bewitched Prophet he will be offended you Muslims you say that not me it's not me who says your Prophet was bewitched it's you Muslims so how come if I read that to you you get offended So we follow a bewitched prophet? Who wanna fear who wanna follow a bewitched prophet? Guys, yesterday I was sitting alone. Oh hold on. I have to be careful with my words because I'm going to announce myself as a prophet. I was sitting alone and I heard an angel speaking to me actually it was God I answered the call but because I have many cell phone I was confused which one is ringing and then by the time I answered the phone he hang up and this is how I lost my opportunity to become a prophet of God a prophet you'll receive inspiration of God as a ring of a bell I never heard of such a prophet like this before I never heard of God he sending his inspiration in a sound of a bell you can go and ask any doctor who have a uh, degree in psychology about people who hear sounds like bill he will explain to you why they hear that inspiration it's good to have inspiration from time to time i mean that's that's nice who can reject that Do we have any Muslim? Maybe he can do better than the PhD guy, Dr. Imam Sheikh from Al Azhar University. Hmm? The angel thunder now is there. Any Abdul? Any Muslim would like to call me? Who is a Muslim here? He thinks he can do better than Dr. Rohi. Anyone? Any Muslim want to give it a try? No Muslim want to give it a try? I mean, what you will lose? Your prophet is hearing the bell anyway. You call him by the bell or you don't call him, he hear it. A prophet who receive Arabic in a sound of a bell. Bell? How the guy he translate the bell sound into Arabic words? And why Allah is giving him a sound of a bell? Oh, I'm not prepared. I will come uh, next time. Next time, I will have answers for those things. Anyone? If you like to learn more about Islam, feel free. You can get my books from Amazon.com or what you need or Amazon.Germany, France, etc. 
all what you need to do my friend just search for Christian Prince and you will find the list of my books there and you know choose the one you like uh, uh, to read I prefer you know I it's better for you if you have them all because they complete each other uh, and uh, I hope that the Muslims they will be the first to read my books so they can learn why we Christians specifically Arab reject Islam you see you can fool those people in the West you say the Quran is amazing Allah Akbar and you bring a guy who have a nice voice to sing the Quran and whatever he say people they will like it because he have a nice voice anyway what about you bring me a guy his voice like a donkey to recite the Quran and then we will ask them do you like the Quran they bring you a guy he have a nice voice this guy whatever he's saying is going to sound good because he have a nice voice if somebody have a nice voice and he's saying a commercial you like what he said because simply you are not listening really to the words you are listening especially if it's different language you do not know what they are saying in fact he might be cursing he might be insulting he might be saying bad things like beat the women and you are saying like wow it sound good i like it it says beat the women but you like it because simply you don't understand what the idiot's saying and he have a nice voice the miracles of the quran when i want to see the miracles of the quran where are they even the arab they made fun of muhammad The Muslim, they say to you, the Arab, they were amused with the Quran. That is a lie. Where, where in the Quran it says they were amused? Where? It says the opposite. They told Muhammad that this is a fraud. You made yourself. They did not say to him, this is what we must be from God. They said word by word, this is a fraud made by you. And you are actually copying it from other people and later in my coming books you will see uh, 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 you know you see how they say that to him how they they accuse him of being a fraud because he was listening to a group of non uh, uh, you know let's say slaves who they are brought from Iraq from Syria who speak Aramaic and he was listening to them learning from them and he was copying what they say and they accuse him that he is taken from those people. Who is a Muslim want to call me to prove me wrong? Any Muslim? Anyone? In chapter 25, verse number 5, the Arab, they said to Muhammad, he said, those stories, this guy, he tell us, they are silly, stupid stories, and they are the fabulous of all generation taught to him. It's in the front of you. The Arab, they were not amused with the Quran. They were laughing at the Quran. This is why Muhammad, he could not convert them, except he, you know, by the sword. And they say, what the Arab, they say to Muhammad? They were amused with the Quran? No, they were laughing. And they say, Tales of the ancients, which has given to him to be written, and they are dictated before him morning and evening. This is what they say to him. They understand very well that those are stupid stories, and this guy is just copying the stories which exist before him, writing it, and he claimed that that's his Quran coming from his God. And then the verse after says that the Quran was sent down by him who knows mystery. You are right, the one who he, he teach that the man is created from the backbone of the man and the sperm, sorry, the sperm which is coming from the ribs of the woman. 